Once again, I am at the Tulip Festival at Wooden Shoe near Woodburn, Oregon, and today's weather is much different than the last time, well, the last two times I was here. If you want to check out the last two videos I did, I'll link them in the description and up above for you. There is something magical going on today at the Wooden Shoe Tulip Farm. There's hot air balloons here. I'm not gonna show you. So we got some tulips. Thinking about the perspective of the rose. And then gonna get some of the hillsides in. I'll probably just paint, well maybe I won't paint them last. <sighs> we got one hot air balloon up here. Fun fact, I have been in a hot air balloon before. It is really quite a lot of fun. I'm gonna wait for one to come down and I'm gonna do it kinda overlapping. the landscape a little bit. There we go. All right, there's my sketch. Let's get my paint brushes out. All right, so let's mix some colors with my size 12 round brush. The brushes I'm using are by Sarah Burns Studio and Craftimo today. Just get some of my zinc white. It's quite blue out. Get some cobalt blue. I want to mix my colors with my round brush. There's a ton of people here today. It's really cool. And this is a beautiful day. The tulips are blooming late this year because of the winter. All right, doing the sky. Oh yeah, I was gonna use my flat brush to paint the sky, but Nope. I'm gonna add some more white to the mixture as I go down to make it lighter in color, closer to the horizon. water really work this paint it's drying out pretty quick because this sun is toasty warm I'm 
looking pretty light close to the horizon. More zinc white in there. Some more directly to the paper now. Directly to the paper. I have actually never painted with my sunglasses on before. Uh, so I'll see how the painting looks when I'm done with it. It might look a little bit differently than I'm expecting. We'll find out. There's the sky. Okay. Um, I'm gonna mix some other colors. Some fresh water, get my Azo yellow. So I actually talked to the, the lady that mixes the paint for M. Graham. And I asked her about the Azo versus Azo yellow. And she said they're both correct. There's no wrong way to pronounce it. It's just like a preference thing. Apparently like thalo or thalo. Um, it's either way really. So I learned that. Let's see here. And then I'm gonna go through, let's do my Delft blue. So I'm just mixing a couple of greens. Get some lemon yellow this time. Put it here. And then my helio turquoise. I'm going to scrape my brush along the side of my palettes to really get the excess paint off because next I'm going to do some dirt. Get my burnt sienna. Just use this area here. A little delft blue. Payne's gray. And I'm just gonna block in this area. This is like the dirt, the tulips are growing in. It'll probably be mostly covered up, but I don't want like white paper showing. So I'm just gonna do the dirt first. Cause I have a feeling it's gonna dry pretty quickly out here in this sunshine. Gosh, it's so bright. Okay, let's work on some balloons. Yeah. I'm just do straight lemon yellow. The balloon on the left, it has designs. There's like some green in my lemon yellow, but I'm not worried about it. I'm going to grab my Azo yellow next. Oh, it's really goopy. That's okay. Layer it on. And then he's also got some green on it.
Hmm. Add some Delft Blue to that. There we go. There's a nice little breeze coming through right now. So I, I chose to sit in a row where the flowers really aren't blooming much because that means less people will be walking around me. I won't be in the way sitting on the ground. that sit. Maybe work on this guy. It's kind of like a rainbow. So the out line, the outside line here. Use my Delph blue. Really get it on. Try to work on a nice smooth stroke. water to help it flow more because it's already drying pretty good on the paper. Trying to get the line nice and even. This side of the paper is really fuzzy, which is unfortunate. But I'm making it work the best I can. And the next to that color is a green color. The balloons might take longer time than the field of flowers. <laughs> and next to that, is a yellow. Yeah, it literally is like the rainbow. I'm going to use my Azo yellow. And then next to that is orange and the red and the purple and start at blue again. So let's mix yellow here.
All right, rainbow balloon. And that balloon has like really dark blue lines. So I'm gonna get my Delft blue and Payne's gray. Legs falling asleep again. Let's do some more of my yellow here. Coat it on. I'm gonna do the hills. They are a little bit darker than the sky. some dull blue and paints gray to that now. Make it a little bit more darker than this. Maybe. Find out. Do some ivory black. And then let's add a little bit of uh, green. So do the helio turquoise and some of my yellow. And some yellow. And Payne's gray and some water because it's drying up really fast. <sighs> Go away, bug. I don't want you in my painting. Time to do some color of the tulips, I feel. Get some red going. And 
and I'm looking at the perspective of it. Just a solid blanket of red. So a bunch of red. I mix some purple, get my red, put it over here, and delf blue, put more. nice not to paint. <laughs> oh, oh, look at that. Unless you're not talented in that department. Yeah. Oh yeah, I need purple for my hot air balloon too. Make some more of that. Because, yeah, purple's the next color here. And then we got blue again. Get my Delft blue. And then we're gonna get some green next to it. Right? Yeah. It has green next to it. <laughs> I think I am on the home stretch for this painting. Get some of every black in that purple mixture I had because here is like a shield type thing for the fire, as in the fire that makes the hot air balloons go up and down. So these hot air balloons, these are tethered rides. So they just go up and down. They don't travel across the terrain or the area. They just stay up and down in place 
and a hot air balloon. I went on, we traveled. <laughs> we traveled quite a ways. You just go with the wind. And I learned that um, depending on your elevation is like what direction the wind is blowing. It may not be blowing very fast. And so you just can change your direction by going up and down, actually. So that was pretty cool. It, you think it'd be windy up there, but you're traveling with the wind. And so it's not windy and it's really eerie and quiet, except for when the fire whooshes up into Baja air balloon. Fire. Some yellow and orange here. Because you can see the fire. No, oh, that's not very good. Get some red in there. Right here. I'm at the wrong angle. If you're looking up into it, it's pretty cool. Okay, more colors of the tulips. I think I'm, yeah, I think I'll do an orange. Get my yellow, red, let's get it in. Get a little my titanium white in this orange, make some little highlights. Eh, I don't like that. Add some more red, some more yellow to it, tone it down, make it more saturated with original color. There we go, that's better. So I'm just kind of like doing random brush strokes. I'm not really concerned about making it look like tulips at this point. And the tulips closest to me, or closer to me, I'm going to make white to get my, my titanium white. Oh, that's very white. Um, that's okay. I can tint it a little bit later. This is just straight out of my palette. You see the brown underneath though. And now I'm gonna grab some water, my tiny titanium white still on my brush and get some greens going. Put these up some. It's okay if my brush has a bad hair day. Make for better paint strokes. Just kind of overlapping. Add a little more water, get this paint flowing a little bit better. I'm going to overlap some of the white because I'll add white over that. I'm going to grab some of my darker green I have. Get that going again. There's still some white in it, so. Add some variance. I'm going to add some green down here. Do one more row of tulips right here, kind of overlapping everything. Okay. Clean the brush. Wipe it. And what color? I think I'm going to do like a lavender. Yeah. It's red over here. No white. More white. Some this white too, because why not? Wow. 
Okay. Just brush strokes to mimic tulips, not to be like, this is a tulip. This is a suggestion of tulips because we don't want the tulips taking away from the hot air balloons, which is what I want to be the main focus of this painting today. Playing around with color combinations. Some more titanium white on my brush with a little bit there. Okay, rinse this. I really need to clean this brush bag, so I'm just going to spritz it. There we go. Get some more spritzed water in my titanium white because I want to do a little bit more of that. Okay. Titanium white. Tulip like shapes. And then we'll add some there. And these will get a little bit darker. There we go. And then last final touch some of my ivory black, Haynes Gray. Little people. <laughs> and then let's do a little bit more fire. Because you can see it right there. Really get it out of the palette. All right. That is it for this little plein air session. Day 28 of my plein April series at the Tulip Festival at Wooden Shoe yet again. Well, thank you so much for coming along with me today as I did my plein air. We have just a couple days left in April, so it's a little bittersweet, but the weather is amazing. I hope this little video has inspired you to get out with your paints, paper, paintbrushes, to a local area, maybe with flowers. Who knows, hot air balloons. <laughs> Thank you again so much for coming along with me. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like it. And if you're new and you wanna see more, make sure to subscribe and hit that little bell to get notifications. And I will see you in the next video. It's time to get painting. I gotta put my hair up. It is so sunny. It's probably close to 70 degrees already and it's only 10 o'clock in the morning. And I'm gonna keep my sweater on because I don't want to get sunburnt. So I'm gonna put the hair up and get to business. Oh, squished a bug. Oh well. Dead bug. It won't be bugging me. <laughs> oh boy. Too much. I'm too much. Do, do, do. Gosh. I can't even tell if it's recording. Are you recording? <laughs>